In this video, we will see how we can uh, uh, edit uh, a 3D uh, acquisition at the transit of a gel echo. So, for example, this is a 3D data set of a normal mitral bar without any uh, significant regurgitation. So, this is the data set. We can start uh, with a rotation of the 3D with the end phase uh, view uh, from the arterial <coughs> uh, side and we can rotate it so that we have the aortic valve at 12 o'clock more or less so this is the outer view of the, of the mitral valve so we will um, take some gain out because the acquisition uh, has been made with uh, more gain than normal as we can see here we can take some gain out and we can see that the mitral valve is more evident in here we can see the left appendage in here the aortic valve and tricuspid valve so uh, we can uh, change some <coughs> with some tools that we have we can change the aspect of the bulk. For example, we can have this, um, this tool that uh, in this case is called TreeView <coughs> and we can also have the glass effect. So with the glass effect, uh, there is a smoother uh, view and a more realistic uh, appearance of the bulk. We can change in here the smoothing. So we can have a smoother image and a less smooth image. So in this case, we see some sparkling, some uh, artifacts. So uh, we will go for the smoother uh, image. We can change the transparency as well. So this is the glass effect. So we can see uh, the mitral valve as a glass. Uh, but uh, this tool could be uh, more interesting uh, with color to evaluate the regurgitation so we can take some transparency out so uh, another important tool is the um, cut uh, wheel so we can use this wheel and rotate it to see uh, the, the cut planes for example, if we want to cut the plane uh, from the outer side to the ventricular side, we can regulate and cut the plane going forward through the ventricle and the atrium. This, is, this could be uh, interesting for us, for example, in the left appendage evaluation, if we want to uh, go uh, for um, the evaluation of the cavity of the left appendage or for example if we want to see the lateral or the medial uh, part of the valve we can cut for example in this case the lateral plane and we go so this uh, is a cut plane with p2 and a2 and we can rotate it a bit so we can rotate like that and so we will see the scallops of the mitral valve in this view and face on the lateral side of the valve. So going back to the outer view, we can rotate again and we regulate the plane again. Okay, another interest, interesting tool is the lightning that uh, can announce some aspects of the valve. So this is the light that, that we can uh, move and shift, for example, uh, through the lateral on the medial side of the valve. For example, we put it uh, on the uh, medial side of the valve and we can move with the light from the atrial through the ventricular side of the valve. So we can see here that the light is over the, uh, the, the, the leaflet plane. So it is actually 
on the ventricular side and we can see it better for example if we put the <coughs> dual aspect or easily if we rotate the valve through the ventricular side so going back to the outer side so we can move again the light through the outer side so we uh, lighten this time um, the, the arterial side of the valve so this could be very interesting to um, uh, evaluate better for example the scallops the flay if, if there is any flay of the leaflets any uh, cardo rupture and something like that uh, finally we so going back for example in this setting so there is another button which is dual that allow us to see the valve through the atrial and the ventricular side of the valve so in here we can see uh, as always a1 a2 a3 p1 p2 p3 and in this case this is obviously the opposite so it's a3 a2 a1 p3 p2 a1 so this could be uh, interesting for example if we have uh, a flay or cord rupture and we can see the ventricular side of the valve.